Jordan Tuesday Landon here was talking about how impressed he was with the energy coming off of that week layoff at spring break. Have you seen that kind of carry over over the past two days? Yeah, um, I think the the last you know two practices, this one including that we just had, and then on Tuesday, I think there's been a lot of energy. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of guys running around. Um, you know, we put on the shoulder pads. Um, you know, you, you hear a lot of hitting. Um, and, you know, it's just good to be able to see all, all the new guys um, coming coming along and uh you know adapting to the way we practice and it's been fun uh, lane uh, talked a lot about darts ability to kind of be a recruiter in a way and help get some of this new transfer class in and uh, did you see that as well and also kind of did you kind of help in that in any way you could yeah for sure um you know during the recruiting uh you know when, when the when the recruiting was open um you know a lot of the students weren't here on christmas break and whatnot and uh you know me and dart we were just uh you know, you know, we were working our tails off trying to get guys, you know, going from home to here and JJ as well. Um, JJ was helping out too, um, you know, just, just trying to build something special here. Um, and and it's, it's fun to be able to see all that come together. Um, and, you know, with the recruiting portal opening back up and get back out there and do it all over again. Jordan, you, you mentioned um, in your response to the first question, just watching the younger guys coming along. Is there anybody right now that's particularly impressing you? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think Noreal has come along really well. Um, you know, seeing him get out there and get in the flow of things, especially since he's supposed to be in high school right now. Um, you know, adapting to college, it's it's not easy. Um, especially, you know, you're just getting thrown right into the fire. I think we have, what, like a, a month or two of training. Um, and then, you know, we're right into it. So seeing him, you know, being able to, to spread his wings a little bit, it's been fun to watch. Lane said, you know, regarding Jackson, that he's somebody that people really want to follow. What, what, from your perspective, what is it about Jackson that makes him somebody that people want to follow? You know, I, I just think his toughness, um, you know, I think that's something that a lot of people respect here um, and just his willingness to not come out of the game. Um, I know during the season you've seen a couple times where he was, you know, might have been a little shaken up and, you know, he wasn't coming out of the game at all. He didn't want to. Um, and, and looking at that from a quarterback, you know, it's it's like, you know, if my quarterback can do it, I want to do it too. So, um, you know, I think that's his one of his greatest qualities is just being, you know, super, super tough and, you know, willing to stick it out. Jordan, you referred to something special. I don't know if it was the exact words that, that Jackson and Jared used Tuesday, but when you guys say that, is it? Are you referring to playoffs or bust for this season? Yeah, I, I think that we set our expectations really, really high. Um, you know, we, we looked at it, and you know, one of our um, one of our mental health guys, you know, he said something that stuck with me is that you know we're not a team yet. You know, we're just a roster. Um, you know, we're just a, a group of names all on a list that that play football at Ole Miss, um, but we're not a team yet. And you know, and, and that means to us is that. Until we're a team, I don't think that um, you know we'll, we'll we'll meet our expectations. But I think you know if we all just come together as one team um, instead of a roster, I think you know the sky's the limit. National championship, college football playoffs. So um, that's our expectations. But we have to become a team first. Jordan, you made a decision to return for you personally. You know, you know March and then once fall camp and the season gets here. What? for you or goals for you through this whole calendar year and season? You know, I think just the, the main goal for me is just to stay healthy. Um, you know, I've had a lot of injuries throughout my college career, um, you know, and I think, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever played a full season, like, truly healthy. You know, I've stuck it out and played in the games, but just haven't been healthy. So the main goal for me is to, you know, just take care of my body and uh, stay healthy. I don't think he's doing much, but what, what have you seen or just kind of the look of what juice is going to be able to add to y'all's room? Um, you said who? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you know Juice. He he's he's a leader. Um, you know he he brings a lot of experience to the room. You know we got a lot of young guys in the room. Caden Lee, um, Noriel, you know guys like that who haven't played a lot of football yet. Um, and you know just having him around, being able to give advice. You know just just because he's not on the field right now doesn't mean that he's not impactful. Um, and he's been a a huge help to those guys and, and me and Trey and help us lead that room. So. Kind of something coming off something that you answered a couple of questions ago, talking about when Lane says, you know, we have a really good roster, but not necessarily, a, a, you know, a good or a great team yet. When around the time last year did you start to kind of see that this is going to be the kind of the team that it was going to become? And is how did any of that thought process kind of start in the spring in any sort of way? Um, I, th I think so. I think, you know, we just, um, uh, for me, I think we became a team last year, somewhere around fall camp. 
Um, and I expect that, you know, because we'll add a lot of another guy, a lot of more guys in the summer. Um, you know, a couple, a couple guys, um, and a, around fall camp is when I think that we'll become a team, um, hopefully. And, uh, and you know, because fall camp is just the time to where you know you, it's just you guys. You know, nobody's on campus. You're here 24/7, um, and you know you get to really bond with a lot of the guys. And I think that's probably when we'll, we'll become a team. Jordan, you talked about wanting to stay healthy as your primary goal. Is, is there anything you can do right now to, to help you achieve that? Have you changed anything from maybe how you've approached this time of year in, in years past? Oh, yeah. I think the biggest thing for me is just my diet. Um, you know, I've really changed my diet around, um, you know, watching what I eat and things like that. So um, I think that had, that had a huge impact on, you know, my injuries and, and things like that. So, But I've, I've gained some weight. Um, I think that was one of my goals as well is just to gain a little bit of weight. So I'm probably about 200 pounds now to where I was like 195 last season. Um, and I think that'll help out a little bit too. Um, so, but my diet is probably the main thing that I'm focusing on. What, what's different about it? What, what have you changed your, your diet? Yeah, just eating more healthy, um, you know, adding greens to my plate, you know, making sure I have the right portion of proteins to greens and, and stuff like that. So, um, and that's truly helped. I, uh, me and Jackson, have we really pushed each other on the, uh, you know, our diets, you know, just watching what we eat. What's the toughest thing you've had to give up? Uh, for me, um, now I was a big McDonald's guy, uh, big, big McDonald's guy. And so I've had to cut that out of my diet. It's been tough. I don't think I've had McDonald's in like three months. So kind of fun off the wall question. You opted in to the, to the video game or you plan to, or just your kind of your thoughts on, on the players being able to be a part of that? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to be a part of something like that. Just because it's, you know, not every day you get a chance to, you know, play as yourself in a video game. Um, you know, you can create a player, but that's, you know, it's just better whenever you got, you know, you can download a roster and something like that, or turn on the video game and see yourself and play as yourself. Kind of going off in mind that you would give yourself. You said what? A rating. I, I think if I'm like. If I'm like not like a 90 or somewhere right there, I think I would be, you know, pretty upset. But like, I think the biggest thing for me is my speed. If I'm not like a 98 speed, 97 speed, I think I would be pretty mad. I guess I'm safe to assume you played the, the last game that was released for it. And if so, who was your kind of your go to team? My go to team? Uh, you know, I don't like to lose. So I think my go to team was probably Bama. I was playing as Bama. They were, they were pretty stacked, <laughs> or Ohio State, one of the two. And I guess around this time of year, have you got have you made the time to pull out a tournament bracket? And if so, who's your go-to winner? Uh, for basketball, March Madness? Yeah. Um, I have not had the time to fill out a bracket yet. But I think for me, you know, I got to go with the home roots. Uh, I think I think UK's got a good team. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but I think Auburn. Auburn's got a good chance, too. So those, are the, those will probably be my two is Auburn and Kentucky. One of the two will probably win it, in my opinion. Thank you.